Hello beautiful people, in this video I will share some of the best resources where you can learn Linux and don't worry, they are not paid, they are free of cost and you just need to start learning, that's it. So if you haven't seen my face ever, I am Seema Saran aka Bash Woman and I am uploading many tech videos every single day and I have also a playlist called Developer Diaries where you will see many developers or students share their journey and if you want to be a part of that so you can just drop an email and yes i would love to have you on my channel so yeah and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i'm uploading some good content for you all and you can also suggest me that we want this video from you so yeah i will definitely try to make that video so let's get started and let's discuss all the resources that I have for you now. Okay, so the first course is by Red Hat and the title is Fundamentals of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And why you need to learn Red Hat is this is the most used Linux distribution in many, many companies and it's the Red Hat company is the like is it's the biggest open source company in the world so yeah the course is completely free and if you want a, certif a certificate then you need to pay 7312 rupees and it's by red hat so yeah the course will be really good and what you will learn you will learn the command lines and managing files, create, view, or edit text files, manage local Linux users and groups, install and update software. So this is a very basic course provided by Red Hat. And if you don't know anything about the Linux operating system, then you definitely check this course and yeah, just start learning it. So the second course is by Linux Foundation and if you don't know what's Linux Foundation, uh, it's managed by uh, Linux Rovers itself. So yeah, the creator of Linux and in this course you will learn a good working knowledge of Linux, navigate through some Linux distribution that's a very basic, uh, again the level of this course is very introductory uh, so yeah basic linux commands and common applications and these uh, two courses are for just the beginners like if you haven't really used linux system so you can definitely uh, enroll for any of these courses and yeah third one is by cisco networking academy and yeah so it's uh, the course length is of eight hours and again it's the base uh, like beginner friendly course and yeah and the skills you will learn from this course is basic installation and configuration of linux software basic cli and yeah become familiar with, with linux virtual machine determine if linux is for you or not so again this is a beginner friendly course and again you can definitely check this course next is linux essentials again by cisco and its level is intermediate and the length of the course is 70 hours okay now you will be afraid that I can't devote 70 hours for just a single course. Don't worry. It takes time to learn a particular technology, okay? And yeah, 70 hours is not a big number if you keep learning and be consistent and make sure to practice all the things that will be provided in all of the courses I will, exp uh, I will share. And in this, you will learn the, the skills like acquire open source concepts and progressively master Linux commands. Understand how Linux is used and basics of its command line. Become skilled at using Linux virtual machines. Prepare for LPI. That's the Linux Essential Professional Development 
certificates next is a book that's how linux works so in this book you will learn how linux boots this is not a beginner friendly book but if you are familiar with linux so you can definitely buy this book or just download it from google or yeah and you will from bootloaders to init implementations and this is really a good thing in this book and how the kernel manages devices so if you want to learn the linux kernel this is a good book and if you want to go into networking in linux learn about firewalls and how server works things like that and yeah it's the perfect book for that how development tools work and relate to shared libraries how to write effective shell scripts okay if you don't know what is shell scripting so i will make another video where you will get the basic knowledge of what is shell scripting and i will discuss some of the shell scripting yeah so if you want me to make that video feel free to comment below next book is the linux command line so in this book you will it's a basic book okay so you will learn many command uh, commands in linux create and delete files directory and symlinks uh, yeah i need to cover that i have many many videos pending for linux because linux is not a small thing to learn so yeah i will upload a uh, new content for linux tutorial uh, in a few days and administer your system including networking package installation process management use standard input output redirection so yeah i will cover most of the things in my upcoming videos and if you don't want to wait for my videos you can definitely buy this book or download it from the internet and you just start learning don't wait for me to upload any content but if you need videos uh, like if you need to watch that how can we do that okay so yeah i will definitely make these videos and yeah till then you just start learning okay and next is linux for beginners how to get access to a linux server if you don't already so yeah this is a great book it has many cool things and many of the basic things like creating renaming moving and deleting directories i have already discussed all of these in my uh, live session okay and listing reading creating editing copying and deleting files and i have already discussed vim editor that's the advanced version of vi editor so vi and vim are not uh, that much of a difference but vim is really better to use and yeah how to compare contents of files you just need to use a command called diff and yeah pipes yeah i will cover all of these so don't wait for me but yeah you can definitely and its kindle edition is free so yeah you can buy it on buy it on kindle or just download it next is okay so this book i read in my second year of btech and yeah if you don't like any of the previous resources then definitely you have to check this book because i personally learned linux from this book and it gives you a really deep and deep understanding of all the commands and yeah all the options are explained briefly and you will see many many things that you will not find on the internet maybe like if you generally search for some things so you don't find that and this box uh, this book really covers all of that so you yeah, just definitely check this book it's a pretty like 
thick book so but, but it's really useful so it's by uh, mark g sobel and yeah i would definitely recommend you this book if you are a beginner to linux next is linux fundamentals by paul copout i guess uh, okay so uh, the contents of this are you you will see the linux history how it is created okay so distributions are already covered in my videos and installation i have done uh, i have covered fedora installation and uh, kali linux installation till now i will cover uh, arch linux installation in the next week because there are some prerequisites for you to know for installing arch linux so yeah and main pages it's the basic yeah as its uh, name suggests that linux fundamentals so yeah um, there are many commands that are covered in this and yes yeah definitely uh, check this book okay linux fundamentals by paul covet this book yes it's the bible of linux it's a pretty uh, old book but it covers all the things that you need to know in linux okay so i personally definitely recommend this book because it covers all the things in detail and if i show you the content of this book okay so there are many things before the content yeah so linux command line okay that covers the basics of linux okay next is shell scripting basics okay two things learned advanced shell scripting okay and alternative linux shells so if you don't know uh, about linux shells there are many linux shells um, for example ash tcsh corn zsh and bash so there are many many linux shells i use bash shell okay so many advanced topics are also covered like using a database in linux using the web using email and shell scripting for administrators here yeah. i will definitely recommend you this book okay so three books i have uh, recommended because they are they are really great okay next is okay now that you have learned the linux basics now that you are like somehow confident in your linux uh, things like you you already done shell scripting and you know all the commands you have made servers you have covered the networking part the firewall and if you want to explore linux kernel then this is the best book okay so yeah linux kernel is the main thing in linux so yeah so okay so the contents that will be covered in this book is obviously you need to know what is linux kernel and getting started with this uh, like uh, it will remind you many of the things that you have learned in operating system in your btech or uh, in the computer architecture so many things from those subjects will be covered so yeah if you want to learn linux kernel development definitely buy this book if you prefer the like if you like turning pages and if you don't then yeah ebook is there for you you just need to download that now that you have all the resources that i have shared what's the next step so the next step is pick the right course that's uh, suitable for you second just uh, start learning and also whatever you learn you need to practice that otherwise linux is not a theoretical subject that you will learn for getting marks but you have to practice that and make some projects i will share some of the cool projects in linux soon if you want me to make that video then you can drop a comment in the comment section and i will definitely share some of the cool projects that i may have in my mind so yeah so just start learning 
and yeah may the source be with you also you are forgetting one thing again you haven't subscribed to my channel so please do that and see you in the next video bye